All right, thanks for watching. And today I wanna show you a really cool consequence of the duality between V and V double star. So today, let me show you the following corollary, namely every basis for your dual space, let's call it beta star of V star, is in fact the dual basis basis of sum basis of V. Of v. Can't see my video so far, it might seem gibberish. Let me explain roughly what I mean. So in a previous video, I showed you that given a basis, it's very easy to find a dual basis. So if you have a basis beta of V, then it's easy to construct a dual basis beta star of V star. And what is a dual basis if V1 up to Vn, so if beta is a basis of V, of V, then beta star, so V star, remember, it's the set of linear transformations from V to F, so L, V, F. And beta star in particular, it's a set of functions or functionals. It's a set of functionals, F1 up to V, F, F1 up to F, N is the dual basis basis of V star, and simply what this is, Fi is the functional which is 1 on Vi and 0 everywhere else. So given a basis V1 up to Vn, it's easy to construct functions which are 1 on Vi and on the ith basis vector and 0 everywhere else. This we have already shown. What this is saying is that the reverse is also true. If I give you a random basis here, then it turns out it will always be the dual basis of, um, it will always be a dual basis of some basis of V. And in particular, if I just give you an arbitrary set of functionals, I can always tell, find a basis such that the functionals are 1 on the first vector, 0 everywhere else, 1 on the second vector, 0 everywhere else, etc., etc. And I'll give you a concrete example in another video. But for now, we'll just uh, try to prove this. So why? It's pretty quick proof. And... Um, it makes sense if you understand this duality business, but of course the first time you see it, you're like, what the hell is going on? So, let beta star be again an arbitrary, arbitrary basis of functionals. So F1 up to Fn be a basis of V star. And again, we don't know yet what the vectors Vi are. So, and the goal is find beta. So, we have an arbitrary basis of your dual space. You want to figure out on which vectors the F1 is precisely 1 and 0 everywhere else. But here's the cool thing. So, you have your V star and you have your Fi's. So, here with the basis beta star. And what we want to find is some uh, basis beta. But here's the thing. Given a basis for a vector space, it's easy to construct a dual basis. In particular, we can construct the dual basis of V double star. So in particular, so in other words, it's very easy to add stars. We want to figure out how to remove it. So let beta double star, again, it's 
the dual basis of theta star. And what is it? It's set of super functionals. So functionals which take functionals as an input. Something like fi or something. So be f1 up to fn be the dual basis. of beta star. And that is in your double dual. And more precisely, what do the FJs do? Well, the, or FIs, the FJs are precisely one at the mini functionals and zero everywhere else. So this is what beautiful FJ looks like. It's one here and then zero everywhere else. So that's good. In other words, it's easy to go from beta star, but beta to beta double star. The question is, well, we have V double star. How can we get V from that? Luckily, there was a previous video I've done that shows that V and V double star are isomorphic and even more than isomorphic. There's a very elegant isomorphism called hat that goes from V to V double star. In other words, it turns out all the script Fi's are of the form Vi star, Vi hat for some Vi. And it turns out those Vi's are precisely what helps us solve the problem. So it turns out our basis is just the VIs here. So let me elucidate this a little bit. So just a quick reminder. So we have this thing, uh, Ursula, I like to call it. Psi from V to V double star, where Psi of X is X hat and X hat of F just evaluates it at f of x. And in the previous video, I've shown this as an isomorphism. So putting hats on is an isomorphism. In particular, because it's onto, it means any vector in V double star is of the form something hat. In particular, the script fi's, they're of the form something hat. So uh, because V size of isomorphism. Script fi equals to vi i hat for some vi. And I'm claiming precisely those vi's work. Claim uh, beta, which is v1 up to Vn works. Work, 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 work. <laughs> like Rihanna said. Um, okay, so what do we need to show in order to show that this works? And remember, beta star, that's F1 up to Fn. We just need to check that each Fi if you evaluate them on vi, it gives you 1. And if you evaluate it on anything else, it gives you 0. So remember, that's the definition of fi. So fi, it's 1 on vi and 0 everywhere else. So in order to show this is the dual basis of this, show that fi at vi equals 1, and fi at the other vectors is 0. So just check that fi at vj equals to 0 if j is not equal to i, and uh, 1 if j equals i. But now, just use the definition of vj. So vj hat is fj. So, but, let's evaluate this. fi at vj. Remember, putting hats, it's like reversing the two things. 
So this is Vj hat at Fi. So literally like the opposite of here. We have, you know, Fi at Vj. Flipping it, it gives you Vj hat at Fi. But now, Vj hat, that is beautiful Fj at Fi. And I'd like to remind you, we had this nice picture here that says, what does Fj do? Add little Fj, it's one, and anywhere else it's zero. So this is precisely zero if i is not equal to j and one if i equals j and if you notice that's precisely what we want we just need to flip the j and i here so if i is not equal to j well i hope you're convinced that j is not equal to i and if i equals j then j equals i so we indeed get the stuff we want, and therefore we are done. Indeed, beta is the dual basis. Indeed, beta star is the dual basis of beta. So if you give me a random set of functionals, I can always find a basis for which the functionals are zero or one. And indeed, in another video, I will do this. So just check it out. Uh, all right, so I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.